Namaste, beautiful. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, so it's been raining here all day. It's letting up a little bit now. It's about 3 p.m. It's been raining for about 12 hours. Um, so the maloka where I have been practicing yoga gets completely soaked in the rain. Um, and the maloka where I am staying gets a little bit wet some places. Also, I just felt very tired today. Um, my period started today as well. This tends to happen with the rain. It's like nice big release um, of my body in tandem with my surroundings, which is really nice. So I just did a little bit of a yin practice this morning. And so I wanted to share with you something that I like to do um, when I'm feeling tired. And I was thinking about kind of when I started doing this more was when I was in this um, healing program and I told one of the healers that, uh, you know, I practice a lot of vinyasa and she recommended that sometimes I move my body in different kind of ways. Now, I did move my body in different kind of ways at the time as well, but um, yeah, she meant kind of like in this energetic way of intentionally moving the energy up the chakras. So that is what I'm going to kind of guide us through today. Um, I'm going to do it so I'm silhouetted so that it's facing this way and you can't really see the movement that I'm doing because that's not the point. Um, I want everyone to be doing whatever movement feels good for them and their body right now. So it's not about how it looks, it's more about how it feels and about the intention of drawing the energy from the root chakra up through the crown and out. Um, okay, so let's do it. Okay, so I would like to invite you to close your eyes for as much of this practice as feels comfortable for you. So we're not going to go for very long. Um, I also like to do this as kind of like a little warm-up, kind of loosening up, um, getting in touch with the self before doing um, a different type of yoga practice as well. So you can do that or you can just leave it as it is. Today I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, yeah. So you can also play music if you'd like to. I'm going to not play music today because I can hear some rain, I can hear some animals, and I really just want to be getting connected to myself in my environment. Mm. So let's just go ahead and bring our focus to the feet and the grounding of the feet. So our roots, right? Rooting ourselves into the earth, feeling how it is to step onto the floor or ground wherever you are. So just moving in whatever way feels good for you. You can be standing, you can be squatting. We want our feet touching whatever it is that we're standing on. And you can move other parts of your body as well. 
can move your hands, you can move your hips, your neck, your head, whatever, but just focus on how those feet feel. Mm. And now I want you to feel how the energy from the floor, from the earth, moves up your body through your feet, All right? So our feet are just this kind of point of contact connecting us to the earth, but we're all one, right? So we are also part of the earth. So I want to feel that in your entire body. Yes, yes. Maybe bending the knee, going down deeper. Mm. Ah. And now let's even bring our attention to a little bit of cleansing. So let's ask ourselves to just keep anything that is good for us, that's serving us in a positive way inside. And anything that's not serving us, anything that is negatively affecting us right now, let's begin to pull it out, starting at the tips of the toes and focusing on pulling it to the ankles as you move. Keeping the feet down, pulling, 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 pulling from the ankles up to the knees. Mm -hmm. And maybe do, do another time over from the toes to the ankle. Ankles to knees. And from the knees, pulling, 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 pulling everything that's not serving you up to the hips. Ah. And let's move it there a little bit. So we're still kind of focusing on that root chakra. So we're kind of like mm, around the sex organs right now, maybe a bit lower. So like our genitalia area. Notice how it feels. Is it warm? Is it cold? Keep moving. But feel it. Is there any healing that you need to do in this chakra in our root? Mm. We just hold these questions in mind. Maybe try to use your movement to heal anything that's asking to be healed right now in this moment. Mm. Mm. And now let's pull it up slightly. So we're moving more to our sacral chakra. So we are at kind of this area between like our hips and our navel. Mm, getting more sensual with our movement. Ooh. Now, again, 
Is there anything here asking to be healed? Mm, can you use that movement to get out those kinks, get out any of that negative energy, right? So we're using both our mind energetically to pull that energy up, but we're also using our movement, finding anything that's in there that needs to come out. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and let's draw up more. Mm, up to the solar plexus, mm, so right around this belly area. Mm. Asking yourself, is there anything in my solar plexus that needs healing right now? So our solar plexus is our is kind of our gut, right? So like our intuition, a lot of our intuition comes from here. So maybe if you've had some things happen that have caused you to doubt your intuition, then maybe you want to work on trusting it again. And maybe the way to do that is by getting out that negativity get out anything residual that you no longer need mm, you can use your hands if you want to touch it to pull it and let's start pulling it up higher mm, pulling it up 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 until we get to the heart chakra mm. how does your heart feel Hmm. Does it feel open? Is it hurting? Does it feel closed? What can you do to give your heart what it needs right now? Mm. Mm. Let's try opening it. Hmm? Using that movement to ah open. Mm. Maybe it's already open. Even if it is already open, it can always be open more. But sometimes you do need to be careful, right? Around how we're opening our heart, who we're letting into our heart. Mmm. Mm. Oh, so just check in with yourself. Seeing whatever comes to mind. Mm. As it relates to the heart. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, and let's start pulling it up. You can use your hand. Mm, anything that no longer serves you, bring it up to the throat chakra. Uh, mm, and how's your throat chakra doing? Of course, our throat chakra is related to our ability to stand up for ourselves, to speak up to communicate with others. How's your communication been? Mm. Is there anything that you can do to improve your communication? Is there anything that you are holding back that you want to say that you're having difficulty saying? Ah, maybe. What we need to do here is make a little bit of noise. So I'm already making noise, but <laughs> well, let's make some noise. Try to really open that throat, huh? So 
Let's take a nice deep inhale. And as we exhale, let's make some sound. And let's do it again. Inhale. La, la, la. And maybe just kind of shake and make some sound. La, 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 la. Feeling the vibration in your throat. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, now let's pull it up to our third eye. So using your hands, using just your energy, using your movement to pull the nice inhale up to the third eye. Mm, anything that no longer serves you. And let's go again and do a whole scan through the body. So starting at the feet, pulling to the ankles. Uh, and pulling from the ankles to the knees. Mm, and pulling from the knees to the hips. Mm, getting everything in that area that's still left in there. And then pulling up, 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 up to the heart. And more up, 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 up to the throat, up, up, up to the third eye. Mm. Ah, and of course, our third eye is what allows us to see that which our two eyes cannot. Yes? So in a different way, this is related to intuition, right? So our sacral chakra is more like our gut feeling. Our third eye is like our inner knowing, right? Just our knowing of everything, our knowing of the connectedness of everything. Ah, so is your third eye open right now? Has your third eye ever been open? Do you even know what that means as it relates to you? Mm. Let's try to do our best here to just drop all of our insecurities. Mm, push them out. Ah. Ah, and just open that third eye. Mm. Using your hands, pull it open. Mm. Ah, can you see it? With your two eyes, look up toward the third. Do you see it open? Mm. Yes, yes. And we're almost there. Let's pull everything out that's left up to the crown. Ah, oh, and we feel that sense of bliss as we let it all out the top of the head. Mm, yes, I am everything. Again, pulling, 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 pulling out the top of the head. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Feeling your divinity. Mm. Yes, feeling the connectedness to everything, to everyone, and feeling lighter as we have just removed all of that negativity from inside of us. And now, so that we're not just floating on a cloud for the rest of the day, let's just take a second to ground back to the head. To the shoulders, the chest, the belly, the back, the arms, to the hands, to the hips, down the legs, the knees, 
your lower legs and your feet once again feeling grounded into the earth and when you are ready you can blink open your eyes mm. <sighs> okay well I hope that felt nice for you it definitely felt nice for me I needed to get some of that out Whoa. okay Mm, thank you so much for joining me today and allowing, trusting me in this weird process. So much love and gratitude. Namaste.